Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Conquest of Paradise Europa Universalis 4 with myself, Northern Lion, and Arumba. Hello. Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Let's do this. Let's get in. Arumba, right. is there um is there a map mode that is like diplomatic map mode, but it includes your vassals as well? Because I hate seeing yes. this little blue map here that is not part of my territory. Sphere of influence is what you want. Oh, but then it turns everybody else gray. You don't like that? No. Uh, I mean, I can see my territory, but I like it to be a little bit more colorful than that. Well, you can have to. You can rebind them. I mean, I play EU4 the same way I play CK2. I'm constantly changing map modes with keyboard shortcuts. I probably spend 99% of my time on uh, the default map mode. Yeah, yep. Talk amongst <laughs> yourselves. I have to get the tour. <laughs> oh, hey, fear. Diplomatic insult. The Mohican, you've insulted me. Conflict sometimes erupted following diplomatic insults. What happened? An accepted culture has been lost. My chief, we no longer care for the people who embrace Delaware, and thus it is no longer accepted. Their foreign tongue is not fit. Same thing with Iroquois. Excuse me? That was a weird time to come back. Their foreign tongue does not fit. Yeah, it's... it's... <laughs> Where are you trying to put it? Uh, look, in the... <laughs> Alright, anyway, hang on. What happened? Conflicts erupted following diplomatic insults. I can gain a Cossus belly on the Mohican people. That's you. Uh, I didn't do anything. Or I can just get... Abenaki and Mahican, you guys just like me a bunch now. Plus 60. It was, an, it was yeah. an event. It just gave me a cost belly or it made you like me. It was one That's or the other. real freaking weird, man, because we've been nothing but friends to one another. Except for that one time. Yeah, that when you accidentally fault. declared war on a Roomba and then right, forced, right. <laughs> forced me to, to accept his call to arms so I didn't lose all of my prestige. I right. remember that. Accidental, like I said. What? Um... Look at this, there's like a sea zone. Oh my god, I mean, I don't. You, you probably can't even see it, but there's a sea zone over here that's got mountains in it. It is not water. It is not Where? water. It's, uh, it's right to the right of Erie. It's totally okay. an island. You can see the damn river flowing through it. Oh, I can't see <laughs> it. I can't see anything past <laughs> Erie, unfortunately. It might it might be actually be because of the uh, the 1.41 patch. Mm. I heard that they changed some things with the, um, with the, the random world generator or something. Oh, really? Did did you not uh, vassalize the Huron? No, I just ate them. Oh, okay. The, er, in, like a coalition right now, it says supporting the independence of the Sioux. Does that mean they guaranteed their independence? Uh, no, they're not guaranteeing it. They're supporting it. So if they rebel against us or, okay. or they rebel against you, then they'll, the Huron will join. So it's kind of similar to a faction in CK2. Yeah, kind of. Except okay. that factions are internal. This is external. All right. Weird. All right, I'm going broke, but I'm making like four gold a month. So, what does that even mean? You're, go you're going broke, but you're like, making money. I'm spending all my money. Oh, okay. That's what I meant. But I'm, I'm building more ships so I can start sailing across my some of my men. I think I'm gonna start working on the tip of the Mayan, like get Oskage and the Chickasaw first, and then move into the Mayan provinces. I don't know because the Osage have um, they they have an alliance with the Maya. Oh, they but can. that's lame. What I will say is that the Maya look like seriously jacked up right now. I'm not sure how much you guys can, can see, it, but can we see like who they're at war with? Yeah, well, I can. They're at war with the Zapotec, and the Zapotec have occupied two provinces of the Maya. Maybe, and the Maya may have one of theirs, and the Maya have a, a province that's occupied by rebels, and they're mm -hmm. at minus seven war score with the. Oh no, now they're at plus. Too, so maybe they're actually going to pull it out, but... Well, the Maya uh, have 16,000 troops somewhere. So... Can, oh, is that Ledger? Yep, and okay. Zapotec has 18,000. I really oh, don't wow. want to declare war without a, a CB. Minus two stability is something I don't like to lose. Are you doing anything with your admin points behind, besides, like... Oh, you know I... what? That's smart. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not at all. I have, That's why, like... I'm... I have, like, 1,600 admin power right now. Yeah, I'm like buffing up my uh, stability whenever it asks for it, because I'm just not doing anything else with my points. Yeah, that's smart. I should do that. Hmm. Just like, I really got to get this overextension down. I don't know how many people I'm gonna need to bring over. Like, I don't know what kind of manpower the Maya and ha the Maya have right now. Well, Aruma said sixteen. Sixteen. You can tell. How do you tell? The ledger. Press, I think. Press oh, the L. ledger. Oh, the ledger. That's kind of yeah. cheaty. <laughs> a little bit. 
What are you talking about? It's in the ledger. That's what the ledger is for. Force limit's 21. My force limit is actually 33. My, yeah, what's mine? The supply limit is so low in my own territory, I'm suffering attrition. Mine's 30. <laughs> Alright, so garbage. I don't I think going into the Mayan might be a bad idea right if away we, anyway. If we all go in together, we could do some stuff. Yeah, if we all went in, I think at at the same time we could definitely pull it off. It's not gonna be easy, but I mean I'm gonna have to ferry my men over five at a time, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, if you send five and I send six and a Roomba sends six, that's enough if we manage it properly to actually beat them. Right. Whoa, the Chickasaw, or Chickasaw, they're the, the uh, province just above the Maya in the northeast. They actually have boats. Oh, really? Yeah, I just saw, like, a Chickasaw boat go down huh. here. That's weird. They're like, what do they have? They have, hmm. That's pretty cool. I wonder what their manpower is. I could probably take them with fives. Are they allied? Oh, they're not allied with anybody. No, I'm gonna... Oh, why? Right now. Chickasaw. Right, I've just declared war on them. All right. Good luck, Mathis. Thanks. Let's do this. You probably won't need it, but good luck. Attached to transport. I clicked attached to transport, so I can. I assume I can just move them now. Um, what you want to do is like get, take all of your ships and then move them like out of the port into Lake Superior, and then just like. Oh yeah, there they go. Oh. Well, they're, okay. I attached it to the transport. I think they're just stuck on it now. I've never, I've never used attached to transport, so I don't know. That might be the most efficient way. Oh, they have seven. Seven what? Seven regiments. Who does? Uh, the Chickasaw. Oh fuck me! <laughs> I gotta, I gotta turn back now. Um, I wonder if you could get like military access from Osage, because this is the same thing I was talking about with uh, Arumba when I was going to war in like the north. It's best not to land in the province that you want to attack because you get a penalty. So you could instead like get military access from Osage. And then land your troops there, and then walk them into Chickasaw. Right. Let's do this. Ask for military access. They said they'll say yes. That's good. Yeah. Right. My commander is just so crap that I can't. I couldn't win a battle if I tried. Oh, I man. am trying, and I can't win. That's, what, that's really what I mean. My uh, my regency council ended, or my leader died, and I got a huge boost in like monthly income. I don't know why say? that happened, but. My stability went down, but my income monthly is like Speaking skyrocketed. I'm gonna boost my stability right now. <laughs> it's not the worst idea. No, it's just since I just lost two. Hmm. All right, back to stability three. Oh, you lost two for declaring without a CB. Yeah, yep. yeah. I get you. Okay. It's building a bunch more cogs. Let's see. Oh, yes. Gain 153 ducats. The best events. How much money am I making right now? Even in war, I'm making 3.5. What the hell, man? That's... I took that trade place as soon as I could, man. So that was what I did. What's your income from trade right now? Trade is giving me 1.23. Oh. It's okay. not bad. My taxation is giving me 6.28, which is nice. That's pretty good. What's the matter? Couldn't it be 6.69? I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> I'm for myself. You're so obsessed with that number. You have no it's, idea. It's marketing, man. Gets the job done. Marketing. All right. I've got a 2-4 leader. Come on. Win. <laughs> no. Who are you? Oh, no. You're losing. <laughs> Just throwing. I'm throwing so many mercenaries at this guy. Ooh, uh, what are you fighting for right now? Huron. Oh, like the rest of the country? Just all of it, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna eat. I'm just gonna take them. It's mine. That makes a lot of sense. You're my neighbor. You belong to me. So I, I think we'll partition it. You can take everything uh, east of uh, Acadia, and I'll take everything west of Acadia. Seems fair to me. Where's Acadia? It's like the middle province oh. of the Shawnee. Well, it's going to take you years before you can do it, though, right? Maybe, maybe not. Why, are you at war? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> you know, years are just like long months, if you think about it. So it won't be that long, is what I'm trying to say. All right, bring seven men over. To... Uh, Oskage. Okay. That's the goal. 
I may, uh... Oh, he's the worst leader of all time. If you want to wait, like, a second, I, I will join you. My men are already on the way, Brian. You're late. My, they're going... Look at, like, my cogs are, like, two days behind yours. <laughs> my cogs Promise. are better than yours. Oh, well, fine. Are, are you waiting or are you going? I'm going... I'm just going to remove a park in Osage right now. Just get my men over there. All right. I'll, I'll send some units over. Can they you have... Let's see, they have like eight, eight regiments it looks like, which actually is kind of shitty. I'm sending over another four. Yeah, the great thing about mercenaries is that even when you're in really hostile territory, they still reinforce. But they're freaking expensive. <clears throat> Mathis, can you send me uh, a call to arms? Yes. Okay. Uh, what is it under? Military uh, actions? Alliance actions, maybe? A call to arms. It says That's you're going to say no. <laughs> I just won a battle, like a naval battle. That's not supposed to happen. What are you? Oh, they are sending boats over. Yeah, they they actually have one boat. I'm I'm suffering. My boats are suffering attrition right now. I'm gonna send yeah. Them. Once you drop off your men, it might be best to send them back. All right, I'm, I'll wait for you before I move into Chickasaw proper. Yep. 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 There's nothing worse than losing all of your goddamn boats. I lost six boats, man. That's like 72 ducats plus time. Do you like this bark that's just like glitching in and out of Iowa right now? Oh. <laughs> yeah, what's patrolling going on with the, that? He's patrolling the Chesapeake Bay trade route. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, Mattis, whenever you're ready, you give the call. I am going in. Okay. We should arrive at a similar time. You're arriving March 30th. I'm arriving April 1st. All right. I'll be Let's the siege this. leader then. That's a good point, yeah. Oh my oh, god, how am I losing this battle again? What, like, in, what again, is happening? Crushed. Do you want some help, Arumba? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how they are even fighting back. It's ridiculous. I don't know where they went, but I'm just going to back like, up. They just dominated me on morale. They must have a morale of armies guy or something. Let's see, morale of armies guy or discipline guy? Probably <clears throat> dis discipline. Mathis, I'm the war leader. Or sorry, not the war leader, but I'm the siege leader. I think because you took some troops away. I just de I deployed a siege and mo marched away. I didn't know that I was gonna do that. For, yeah, for whatever reason, I'm still the siege leader. Oh weird. So I'm totally gonna separate piece them and. Okay, take uh, their money and move on. Yeah. Oh, Wichita got in became independent. Yeah, that's real weird, right? The hell? Like a an independence uh, rebellion actually worked against the Maya. That's weird. Maybe they, they're not as strong as we thought we were. They're Now's probably our chance. just super taken with um, Zapotec. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, they were fighting two people. They have a truce with Zapotec and Kado. Oh, Kado's that independent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, they have a truce now? Ooh. Yeah. But the Maya also hate Chicksaw, I think, so. Right. Dakota now has the culture we desire, which is good. I'm just routing out my all the enemy cultures here. Yeah. Causing problems. That makes sense. You know, we are, we're 13 years post-official timeline New World Discovery, so. True. I wonder what's I going on over there. Very curious. Oh, I, I can tell you exactly what's going on. Castile is fighting Aragon and Granada. <laughs> France is like, oh, Burgundy, come on, shit, man. Like, <laughs> let's just get this together. The Hundred Years' War is probably still happening. <laughs> the AI is pretty bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> just the, like, the Hundred Years' War became the Three Hundred Year War, you yeah. know. What the Byzantines probably still exist. That's oh. that's my expectation of what's happening right now. Also, this siege never ends. Yeah, this war so, exhaustion is kind of shitty, huh? It gives you lots of penalty. Ah, whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't even pay how, attention to that. How much do you have already? Uh, 2.17. And yeah, it's, this, not, what's your... it's not increasing by anything a month, which is fine. I, I just It's a lot of penalties. What's up? What's your naval force limit? My naval force limit. Is that going to be under military as well, presumably? Yeah, naval or... force limit. Oh, 10, and I have 11. Okay, that's what I was thinking about. Should I, what do I just get rid of a cog for that? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Ask Arumba about that one. Getting rid of a cog? Sure. Yeah, well, I'm one, I'm one over, so. You don't really have to. How much is it costing you to be over? Uh, Fleet maintenance is 0. 0.57. That's how much I'm losing, I'm losing a month. That's 0. 0.57 gold. Right, but if you hover over it, it'll tell you how much of the penalty is from being over the force limit. It's 0. 0.05 each month penalty. That's not very much. Oh, my oh, God. That's, that's, like, negligible. Mathis, we're never going to win this siege. It's still at minus 56%. Should I bring in all my men? 
I, yeah, maybe. I don't know if that... Does that give you an uh, increased chance for the siege to tick in your favor? I have no idea. If oh. you have more mm, men? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Having more and, men does not does not speed up a siege at all. Only artillery does. Every month, it's like... Uh, status quo, status quo, status quo. Like, seriously? Like, you're... I guess it's because we our units are like Native American archers, and this is Fort Level Two. So, <laughs> what are we? We're just gonna shoot arrows at these like stone walls until they break. Hey, supply shortage. That's a, a tick in our favor. Yep. I want those ducats, Mathis. That's fine. I just want the the, the piece of the, land. Man. Yeah, get the land, man. Get that border with the Maya, so they can and then get some against you. Oh yeah, I forgot. You, yeah, you should probably just like go to war with Wichita like, right now. What is their force limit right now? Out of curiosity. Um, I don't know. I, I don't check the ledger very well. Let's take a look. <laughs> Wichita. No, no, you don't. <laughs> well, actually, they're not Wichita. They are Kado. Yeah. Kado. Their force limit is six. How many? How many troops do you have here? But they have no infantry, no cavalry. They have nothing. Dude, just go to war with them right now. Excuse me, gentlemen. Um. I would like your land. Thank you. All right, just gonna de detach a, a siege here. Move I, yeah, it's probably not even necessary because I'm still leading it as well. True. Mm, I just realized why I've been getting so so beaten. It's because I had like seven or eight war score and or sorry war exhaustion. Oh yeah, which is crippling my morale. <laughs> and explains exactly why he's having a chance. And my war exhaustion is at four point two four. I'm gonna reduce it. That's Nothing else to really maybe. do, you know? Yeah. You just spend all your points on stuff, why not? Yeah. Hey, we, Mathis and I are starting to cut into the Mayan Empire here, Roomba. Just you a little join bit. Us. You down in Maya? Well, yeah, we're right well, above them. Just above them, but we're establishing a foothold. Mm -hmm. Nice. I told you it's going to happen. That is impressive. You, you've figured out how to cross the ocean. I know. <laughs> I'm and I didn't lose all of my boats. So wait, are we getting, am I going to get a bunch of aggressive expansion for all this? Yeah, but I think you're going to be fine. Where can I look at aggressive expansion again? I'm sorry. Where is it? Diplomacy. Do you your own country, I think. I might, I may be wrong, but I think that's how it is. Um, aggressive expansion, you can you use the coalition map mode. Coalition map mode. It's the one that looks like a, a red flag and a blue flag. I don't even think I have that on here. Uh, I'll just pop that open. Red flag, blue flag. And my lands are blue? Then, yeah, you hover <laughs> over other countries and you can see what the aggressive expansion score is at. Should I invest in feudal monarchy? <laughs> it seems like such a waste. I have no I mean, idea. Oh, we're I at guess... 0%, man. We're getting there. I just want some cannons. Like, if I had cannons, I could, I could kill all of these stupid Huron troops. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Aruma, did you get feudal? Mo did you get level two admin? Level two? Um, no. Okay. So, does, how does this does assaulting work in this game the same way it did in Crusader Kings two? Not even close. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Nope. Like, uh, you don't really want to assault unless you get a lucky fourteen roll and you breach the walls. Okay. So. Every time, every siege status tick, you roll a 1 to 14. And if you roll a 14, then you breach the walls, which gives you plus 3 siege status and makes it so that it's not deadly to assault. Gotcha. So I'll keep an eye out for a 14 roll. Well, there's a little visual indicator. You see, like, when you zoom in on your siege, there's, like, a little castle next to the troop type, the troop name, the number. Mm-hmm. You, you see it? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Uh, I see the number. Okay, like, like, okay. Where are you, where are you sieging? I'm sieging two places, actually. Right next to Kado. Let's look at Kado. Let's look at Kado. That's the red province. The red province above the Mayan, yeah. Kado, okay, yeah. Yeah, you've breached the walls. So should I assault? You have 2,000, it would be very dangerous. Okay. You have 2,000 infantry versus 7,500 or 750 infantry. It would be very aggressive. I wouldn't Is do it. Is there still like a rule of thumb for uh, the ratio you want? I would still do 10 to 1. And then okay. you don't lose too many troops, but you, t you lose tons of morale. So you have to be careful. Like it's, it's starting to stack up on gold. I'm making 6.27 gold a month right now. 
I hate your bullshit nice. in Fort Level 1 province, by the way, Mathis. What? Like, Where? Like, uh, no, Wichita is Fort Level 1, so, like, your siege has been going on for, like, a third as long, <laughs> and it's already further ahead. That's amazing. Well, that is the robot, so we're going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, dropping a comment and a like down below really helps us out. As always, that is in my description box will be a link to both Northern Lion and Aroomba and vice versa in their description box. Aroomba's been off doing stuff. He's losing w- He's losing wars, I'm assuming, is what's going on. Must be, yeah. Um, but I would go check out his perspective and then come report back to us and let us know what he's doing. <laughs> and as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Later. See you soon.